what's up guys uh today i'm going to be showing you how to make some beats and how to utilize the new mobile rack and mobile rack effects in fl studio 2025 i'm gonna just be showing you some tips and tricks on how to use it um now this seems very very simple but this is actually a very complex system here um now at first i was like oh this is just some mobile stuff they threw in but it's actually a lot you could do with it uh so i have sounds loaded up we're gonna make a beat and stuff like that and i'll kind of show you the sounds that i picked um, but the first thing that you have is your little mini synth here. Um, I'll turn that off. Um, but this is just your basic sounds you can have. And this is Orbit. You can click through these and I'll just open up a new one so you can kind of see around. I'm sure some of you probably already mess around with this. Uh, the goal is to show you how to like use it. Now you can see you have some other like plugins in here as well, right? It's not just this mini synth. There's actual plugins from FL Studio, which is cool. Now the cool thing about this plugin, okay? Well, you, you might go over your head. You have everything pretty much every basic effect every basic type of sound or plug-in in fl studio all in one and the reason this is important is because you have modules now the reason why these modules are important uh, for this is because now you can sound design with these so you see we have a sampler here right and you can add your own files right so if you want to add your own little files in there you could um, but we have this and then if you wanted to add something else let's say you want to add reverb you can right and the cool thing is this is very um it's it's very low on cpu uh, so uh, if you wanted to add i don't know let's add this in there right and it's not going to be the exact plugin of course but you can go through here and click through the presets right and of course they're very basic right and now you can start to form new sounds and stuff like that just from here um but obviously the community will have to kind of build presets in order for it to really to, in order for this to really shine um but all right this is a sound we just made just simply just me just clicking stuff okay so um that is kind of the power of this right and you can add your little uh they even have wow and flutter i believe if you want to add that i got tuners tremolo um, all types of stuff everything that you need this is one of the best things they've, they've added in a while i didn't talk about the update uh because i just you know it's it's a big update but it's just you know basic stuff they should have had anyway uh but i'm gonna delete these and we're gonna go through and i'm gonna show you how to make a beat um i'll start with the chords and i'll kind of fast through uh, fast forward through some stuff because i feel like it's just i don't want to you know waste time so we'll delete some of this you can even kind of you know uh, shape I guess not shape but sound design um as well um but yeah that is the mobile rack the effects rack is the same except it's just on the effects the mixer uh so what we're gonna do now is go ahead and utilize this i'm gonna be showing you how to make a beat with this now we're gonna get into actually making our melodies and everything like that so uh with this mobile effects rack or mobile rack uh for this one in particular uh, with this this is the sound that i picked so this is the science preset and then i just kind of added these wow and flutter filters and this was more of experimenting kind of figuring out um like oh what kind of what kind of sound do i want so what i first recommend if you're if you're if you're not that seasoned or maybe you just really don't know where to go from here with something like this i would recommend trying to find a soft sound so something like this something like that that's kind of low because your chords will automatically sound good but when you use more like rough sounds it's going to be harder to like sound select uh so i would start with something like that maybe a Rhodes would work something like that um and then for our chords actually let's close this i would add rhythm so most people when they start making chords they just do this and this is fine but this is boring right we can collectively say this is boring right it's very robotic uh, so what we're going to need to do is add some maybe do like this just add some rhythm okay and this is not anything you just just give it a little something now obviously that's not these aren't like real chords that i'm using but um actually i think we can do something like this we go one two three boom Let's actually use this and I'm just going to use my ear. I don't really want to use like scales and stuff. I like using my ear now because now you get a more, you get a more unique chord progression or melody. So we're going to use this. Um, if we go right here. It should be. Yeah. 
so that's what i'm gonna go with i'm gonna show you my technique for making a melody and then i'll fast forward it so we can kind of get through the rest of everything so i can show you some more tips so um usually what i'll do is well honestly you could cheat you know you could drag this over and pull it up an octave and then just make a chord out of this and i'm not even sure I'm just that's pretty much what you could do. And then from here, you could just use your ear to kind of curate it. Um, make sure you're in the right spot. You could... And now we kind of get into that like soul. Okay. And I guess I'm already pretty much done, I guess. Um... Now let's just pull one of these down. Simple. There we go. All right. So that's our chord progression. It didn't take that long. We'll copy it over twice. I'll play it one time through. And I'm going to actually pull this down a little bit more. And I'll be honest, we could stop here and just make a beat and just have a nice 808 pattern be done. So there's our first chord. Let's go ahead and move on to our next sound here. Now I went ahead and copied this sound to my other one here, and I'm just gonna layer these just to kind of save time. So this is the preset that I chose. Okay, nothing crazy, but I just thought it would kind of add some weight. Just kind of fill out the chords okay uh so of course on this you can add effects on it for me i don't think i need it because you got every, pretty much everything you need right here just built in uh so uh, what i'll do is i'll kind of go through all of this um so we're gonna add a bass so this is the bass i chose the electric okay and then i'll also do this one i might fast forward a little bit for some of this because i think you know it's pretty simple uh orbit again Okay, uh, so pretty soft sounds, and then I kind of have this more outlandish sound on top. Uh, that's because I do plan on adding some effects, making it sound a little bit uh, better, but uh, the goal is just to at least have our main sound nice. So for this, obviously we could just, probably wanna pull that up, boom. And then since we're at a half time, we could do something like this. something like that and then i want to add something kind of crazy to this uh, we have this these ghost notes so with the ghost notes okay you really could just follow the notes and this is why i like using my ear rather than the scale uh because you just get a more organic melody um that's why I like even when people play like play the piano it just sounds better than clicking in most of the time because it's just a little bit more organic more human i guess want to add something that we can like have time that's kind of my goal is just add it something we can have time later and i think that'll be good All right pretty simple oops So I like that. I think we'll stop it there. Uh, we'll add effects after, um, but I think we can start with the drums and stuff like that. I'll uh, probably fast forward a little through some of this because we got a lot of drums here, but I'll at least show the 808 and everything like that. Now let's finish this up with our drums. And lastly, we'll talk about effects and stuff like that because I want to have at least a reference to work with. Uh, so for the drums, uh, this is pretty simple. You can go with whatever you want on this. Uh, whatever style that you like because it really doesn't matter like I can do 
up with something like this. Probably something like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the drums up and then we'll do the 808 together, so. All right, so here are the drums I made. Pretty simple, uh, just want a lot of bounce in them. All right, so we could do the 808 together. So I like using two 808s now. I just, I'm not gonna say I find two 808s boring, but um, I just have more fun doing two 808s. I'm gonna copy, oops, I'm gonna copy this here. And we'll simply just get rid of these. Uh, and maybe pull this up. I mute the wrong one. kind of mix this in with our other 808s okay so this is where the fun happens um Obviously need to like mix some stuff. happy with that uh, so next our beat is pretty much done from here so next what we're gonna do is add our effects and kind of finish the beat and add some effects to the melody of course so let's go ahead and do that now lastly we're gonna go over the effects so I just load up some effects these are things I've shown before but these are my go-to's and just kind of what I like for my style so you guys can kind of deviate if you want so we'll start with the drums since we just got finished with the drums um as you can see this is just the bare bones drums i added a transient processor this is just the setup that i have okay uh it's pretty simple nothing crazy just makes them a little bit more crispy um and it kind of gives a little bounce when it has a shorter decay and then i just tried to add some stuff for the effects rack now i like the effects rack for the effects because you can you can add a lot of effects with low cpu as you can see we only sitting at seven um and uh, you can use the automation clip to kind of add cool effects. So I like this trance delay here and I'll turn this on. I really like the way that sounds. Uh, so um, that's kind of what I'm using on this. And I do feel like it's a little too much, but we'll just leave it on for now. Uh, and then uh, this is just a sub. All right, um, you can turn it off and on, depends. Okay, and then just for my melodies, pretty much the same presets I always use. Uh, so we just got a chorus um, and then just an EQ.
And this is for that second sound. This is for this chord here. I'll probably pan these. All right, so you can see I'm taking away. If you notice, I'm taking away a lot from my sounds, um, except the drums, but I'm meaning more for the melodies. I'm taking away sounds um, so they fit together. Uh, and that's kind of the takeaway from this, right? Rather than adding a lot. Uh, and then for this, just my normal stuff. So we just have a halftime and then a reverse in that order. Okay, make sure I show it the whole thing. Okay, and then we have a chorus and then just an EQ, just to kind of put it in its own spot with the frequency. So I put both of these. So I put this one. Oh, I guess you can't hear it. I put this and then my main chord progression in there. So this is what it sounds like now. And then lastly, what we'll do is I just loaded this up. I'm using the new emphasis. Uh, I don't know. This is like replacing the soft clipper kind of. I don't know. I'm trying to now make sure seeing what I like, don't like about it. But this is just what I'm using right now to kind of control the peaks. Um, but here, just a bunch of stuff you can add on top for the mobile effects uh, effects rack. Right, you can make it wider. Uh, yeah, I'll turn some of these on. So you have like the multi effects. So you have like reverb. I was so that's just how you can mix it up that's how you can make some nice beats with the mobile rack effects and the mobile rack in fl studio obviously stock but that's gonna be it for this video hope you enjoyed make sure you like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace